Hello and welcome back to Richard's Home Mechanics. We've got a little uh, project that's come in here. It's a Vauxhall Ashton Mark IV. Um, seems to have a little bit of a misfire um, when you drive it. When you put it under load, um, it's pulling back. Not sure what's wrong. We're going to be going back to old school. I'm not going to plug um, my OBD reader into it. We're going to go old school and we're going to use one of these as possibly one of the diagnostic tools. Um, so let's crack on. Let's find out why this Astra is missing. Okay, before we dive too deep into this engine, um, I was always taught, um, like you say, don't dive too deep. Do the simple things first, and there's three things we're going to be checking today, and that is going to be the fuel, um, the ignition, the spark, and the compression. We're going to start first with the fuel. We want to see if them injectors are going to be are ticking away, um, hence why we're going to be using this, a stethoscope to listen to the injectors. So we're going to check the injectors first. If they're ticking away, each one of them should be ticking away quite nicely, um, which every time it's a tick, it's pushing fuel in. Um, I'm not going to check the pressure. As I said, we're not going in too deeply at the moment. I'm not getting all gauges and all that. Now. I just want to make sure that their actual injectors are injecting fuel. Um, if that seems okay, we're then going to move on to the ignition. Um, a, a very, again, we're not digging too deep, going to be very, very simple tests you can do yourself without no specialist equipment. Um, and if that comes good, we will then go on to compression. Uh, we'll take the plugs out, get the old compression tester in there and see if we've got a broken valve or a broken vein or something along like that. So let's crack on, shall we? Let's uh, test this and see what's going on with this engine, shall we? Okay, let's do the first job. We're going to use what they call a stethoscope. It's the same sort of thing that a doctor uses, and I'm going to put this on this tip on the end of the injector. And what I want to hear is I want to hear a tick, 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 tick. Um, if that's ticking, that injector is working. It's not necessarily going to tell me the fuel is going in. I would have to use a pressure gauge to do that, and obviously you can take the plugs out and see if they're getting wet. But my initial test is to see if they're clicking. If each one of them clicking, I'll be happy for that stage at the moment, and then we'll move on to the electrical side, which will be the spark plugs and the grog. So let's have a look. Right, number one, pop first. We're going to go onto the injector straight onto it. Perfect, I can hear a continuous tick, tick, tick. Pop number two. Tick, tick, tick. Pop number three. Tick, tick, tick. Pop number four. Tick, tick, tick. Right, we can write that off. I'm happy with that. They're ticking away. You say, doesn't necessarily say the fuel is going through there, but they are actually injecting at the moment. Um, this is not going to take long, I don't think. We're going to do the uh, ignition side. Very simple test now. I've got insulated gloves. You can get special pliers, but I've opted for the insulating gloves. And what we're going to do, we're going to take one spark plug off at a time. That is going to eliminate um, whether we've got a fault with the coil. So let's have a look. We're going to do pot number one. What we're looking for is the engine to die. If the engine starts to die, that shows that that coil is working. If it doesn't die and it carries on the same tone, it could possibly be that that coil is faulty. Let's have a look. Number one, listen for the engine. Yep, did you hear it stop? Ready? There you go. And also, another little test you can see by pulling off this, um, be very careful, hence why I've got insulated gloves. I can pull the cap off and that should, if it's a strong coil, it should arc across to the body. And if you listen carefully, you should be able to also see. There you go. Let's start it. Okay, we're happy number one's working. We're gonna take number two plug cap off and see if she stalls and also check for a spark coming out the cap, between the cap, the end of the cap and the body. There you go. I'm not gonna take it out for long. You will hear the engine tone change. There you go. And we're also gonna quickly see if we've got a spark arcing across from the body, from the cap. You can see there, that's lovely. So at the moment, pot number one and pot number two have passed the initial test. Pot number three, we're going to take the cap off and see if the engine dies. Hear the engine tone again, that's showing me that I'm quite happy that coil is working. We'll take it off again. There we go, that's perking. We're going to see if we've got a spark, and we have. So at the moment, pot number one, pot number two, pot number three, I believe that that coil is fine. Um, let's have a look. 
pot number four. Again, we're looking for a tone, a different tone, and we're also looking for a spark at the end of the cap as we arc across to the body. See that? I've disconnected it. No difference in the engine. That's now given me signs that we might have a problem with this coil, and we might not have to even progress on to putting a compression tester in. Let's have a look. So, when I take this cap off, we should recap. When I disconnect that cap, it should stall because basically it's, it's losing power to the spark and the part spark should stop. Um, but it's making no difference. So to me, that is not even sparking. So here we go. We're going to take it off. No change in tone of the engine. That car is faulty. Look at that. No arcing. Nothing at all. Well, how long did that take to eliminate that? Simple test you can do at home. Check the fuel, the injectors are clicking away, they're purring away quite nicely. We've just done simple tests on the, on the, uh, by pulling the caps off. Wearing safety gloves, of course, which are insulated. I think number four uh, pot is not firing. Um, unfortunately, these are not individual coils. I've just had a look on here. It's one coil pack. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get onto eBay and we're going to purchase a second hand one and we're going to put it on. So what's my next part on this Astra and let's see if we actually cured this misfire on this Astra. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Take care. Goodbye.